Well, Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo is dead. Colimo died early this morning and the news of his demise was confirmed by a statement sent to newsrooms by the mobile service provider. According to a statement from the mobile service provider Safaricom, Bob Colimo passed away at his home Monday morning after a long battle with leukemia. Colimo died at the age of 61. Colimo has been in and out of the country for several months seeking treatment for acute myeloid leukemia. In October 2017, Colimo traveled to the United Kingdom to receive treatment and returned in July last year to resume his duties. He had been receiving treatment at the Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi. On May 8th this year, Colimo was appointed as a board member of the National Cancer Institute. And last year, the Safaricom chief executive was appointed to the Vision 2030 board. His tenure at Safaricom came to an end in August 2019, but the company extended his contract by one more year. He had said he owes the telco for time spent away from office during the time he was battling with cancer. Bob Colimo, whose full name is Robert William Colimo, was born in 1958. Colimo started schooling in Guyana while still living with his grandmother until the age of 16 when he moved to the UK to join his mother in 1974. He joined Selhurst High School for Boys in London where he completed his formal education. In various interviews, Colimo revealed that he started earning money at the age of 12 while living with his grandmother in Guyana would make art pieces from plastic molds and also little brooches from coconut shells, which he would sell. In 2006, he became the governance director for Africa at Vodafone and subsidiary Safaricom before assuming the CEO position in 2010. Colimo married his second wife, Wambui Kamiru, on April 2, 2016, in an invite-only wedding at an upmarket residence in Kitusuru, Nairobi. Colimo bagged several awards at his time with Safaricom, most recently the CEO of the Year Award, conferred by African Investor. He has held the position of CEO of Safaricom Limited since November 1st, 2010. Previously, he has worked in the UK, Japan and South Africa in a number of senior executive roles in marketing, purchasing, retail, governance and corporate affairs. He has more than 30 years of commercial experience working in senior executive roles in the telecommunications sector. Colimo also served on the board of Acumen, the United Nations Global Compact Board, and is a member of the B-Team, a not-for-profit initiative formed by a global group of business leaders to catalyze a better way of doing business for the well-being of people and the planet. He also served on the Kenya Vision 2030 board, is a founder trustee in the National Road Safety Trust and chairman of the team's board. He has recently served on a UN Commission on Life Savings Commodities for Women and Children. In 2012, he was conferred the state honor of Moran of the Burning Spear, which was awarded to him by retired President Mwai Kibaki. In his own words, Kolimo said that he loved flying helicopters and reading as his favorite pastimes. It was his love for art and music that led him to meet his wife, Wambui Kamiru. President Uhuru Kenyatta has mourned the death of the celebrated Talco Bose. Kalimo took over when Safaricom's share price was 4.61 Kenyan shillings. He has passed with the share having closed Friday's trade at 28.1 shillings, a six-fold gain.